Welcome to YouTube News TVCT. The following is the latest information on the conflict situation in Ukraine. Ukrainian commanders say that after months of fighting for Bakhmut, the Russian army has reduced its offensive. Some Ukrainian officers and British military intelligence have detected signs that Russia is no longer attacking Bakhmut with the same intensity as last month. Bakhmut is a city of outstanding importance to both sides. Ukrainian commanders said that the Russian military had instead relocated armored vehicles and artillery fire towards the nearby city of Soledar. Bakhmut and Soledar were on the same front as Russia and Soledar. Ukraine. The reduction of the offensive at Bakhmut did not mean that Russia had completely abandoned this front, but it was Ukraine's determination to fight back that forced it to recalibrate. After months of struggling to take the city, Russia moved on. Direct fire from here and seek to test Ukraine's defenses around Soledar in hopes of winning victory there. Since the fall of 2022, Bakhmut and the surrounding areas have become one of the firepan, was the fiercest in the entire war, when both sides poured a large amount of troops and equipment into this place. On the evening of January 3, Ukraine's top military commander, Mr. Valery Zaluzhny, assessed Bakhmut as the face of war. The toughest battle his forces faced. Russian and Ukrainian forces fought for Bakhmut, a city of 70,000 people, for about six months. Capturing Bakhmut will have great spiritual significance for Russia. It is known that at a Ukrainian artillery position on the outskirts of Soledar, Russian weapons have been pouring down continuously in recent days. A Ukrainian artillery officer believes that the Russian attack positions are located outside the city. Valery Yurik, a spokesman for the 46th Brigade, reflected, they are changing positions in Soledar. Meanwhile, British military intelligence said Ukraine had significantly increased reinforcements to Bakhmut, repelling the forces. The Russian attack resulted in heavy losses on both sides. British intelligence predicts that a breakthrough is unlikely for the Russian forces in the coming weeks. At an air defense position near Bakhmut, the platoon commander in it said Russian firepower had almost halved in recent days and appeared to be being diverted to Soledar. At the same time, however, Serhiy Cheravaty, spokesman for Ukrainian forces in the east, confirmed. He said he did not see any signs of Russia reducing its attack on Bakhmut or redirecting its firepower, saying that in the last 24 hours, 224 artillery attacks occurred in the area. Earlier this week, Russian fire fell on the area around Bakhmut every two minutes, and Ukrainian forces returned fire about every minute. Ukrainian soldiers remain alert to the possibility that Russia may launch a new attack on Bakhmut. Both Ukraine and Russia describe the scale of the fierce fighting in Bakhmut as unseen since the conflict broke out. The city was born in February of this year. The city is short of electricity, water and gas, while some areas have turned into ghost towns. Most of the city's population has left Bakhmut and the few remaining inhabitants of the town seem to blame both sides for the devastation. In the past, Bakhmut has suffered heavy damage, once under control. Controlled by the Nazis during World War II, then transferred to the Soviet Red Army. In 2014, the independence forces in the Donbass region also briefly captured the city.